Hola chicos, today I'm going to talk to you about irregular preterite. First, let's start with why are they called irregular? Well, it's pretty simple. They're irregular because they're weird. They're not regular. They're not normal. They're funky. Uh, they don't follow the rules. So, where a normal verb, a regular verb, would you take off the AR and slap the new endings on, these completely ignore that. They do what they want. So you need to memorize them. Here's our first one. Hacer, to do or make. In the preterite, it turns into hice, hiciste, hizo, hicimos, hicieron. And as you can see, a Z pops up out of nowhere. There it is. Now, it may seem like the Z is there for no reason, but there is a reason. And it's because of this C right here. In Spain, where Spanish was invented, this word would be pronounced hacer with a th sound. Okay, so if we were to keep this c instead of putting a z, if we were to keep the c, it would say ico. So we have to replace it with the only other letter in Spanish that makes the th sound, and that would be the z. So let's pronounce this in Spanish. Ready from Spain, hice. Hiciste, hizo, hicimos, hicieron. That would be with a Spanish accent. And this is with a Latin American accent. Hice, hiciste, hizo, hicimos, hicieron. All right, so anyway, this means I did or I made, you did, you made, he did, he made, uh, we did, we made, or they did, they made. Our next two are ser and ir. Ser means to be, and in the preterite, it turned into fui, fuiste, fue, fuimos, fueron. That's very irregular, right? There's not even an S in there. What? How'd they come up with that? And then ir, to go, is fui, fuiste, fue, fuimos, fueron. They're the same thing. They're the same conjugation. So I have a little story for you. Sit back and relax. Once upon a time, deep, deep in the forest, the wizards who invented Spanish got together and they decided to work on the two verbs, ir and ser. They wanted to be creative, so they had a little competition. Who could be the most creative conjugator? So they divided up into two groups. Group number one went up into this tower and worked on ir, and group number two went up into the second tower and worked on ser. So, Ir got very creative and they said, oh, we're going to come up with this fantastic, fabulous conjugation for this verb. They're not going to know what hit them. It's going to be incredible. Let's do Ir turns it to Fui. Oh, yeah, that sounds great. Fui, fuiste, fue, fuimos, fueron. That sounds good. So, they wrote it down in the giant Spanish book. And right when they were just finished writing the word into the, fa the fabulous Spanish book, a flaming ball of fire flew ferociously through the firmament. The firmament is the sky. It went like this. <whistles> and landed in the tower. Those were the Moors attacking. The Moors were from northern Africa, and they conquered Spain for 700 years. So the Moors wanted to uh, attack this castle and capture this castle. So right when the flaming ball of fire hit the tower, the wizards took the great book, ran with it down the spiral staircase and up the other tower to warn the Serd group. And they told them, hey you guys, Serd, just copy us really fast, just really fast, just write fui fui te fue fuimos fueron like we did. Just copy it, it's okay, we can forget about the competition, just copy it. Fui fui te fue fuimos fueron. So they copied it, fui fui te fue fuimos fueron, really, really fast into the book. Because the flaming balls of fire were flying ferociously through the firmament. And they were in fear for their lives. So that is why. Eid and Seth have the same conjugation. Said is to be. It means I was, you were, he was, we were, they were. Fui, fuiste, fue, fuimos, fueron. 
and id means to go, meaning I went, you went, he went, we went, they went. That is fui, fuiste, fue, fuimos, fueron. Next, let's talk about dar. Dar is a little wannabe gangsta. He is an AR verb, but he wants to be an ERIR verb. Just like Tigger is a nice little cartoon tiger, but in this picture, it looks like he wants to be a gangsta, right? So dar wants to be an ERIR verb. He dresses up like ERIR, like this. He's wearing ERIR endings. Di, diste, dio, dimos, dieron. I gave, you gave, he gave, we gave, they gave. And then we have ver, which rhymes with dar, when it's conjugated. It turns into vi, viste, dio, vimos, dieron. Remember the other one was di, diste, dio, dimos, dieron. This one is vi, viste, dio, vimos, dieron. And no accents. Yay! So, my dear, dear students, you have to memorize these verbs. And I want you to memorize them like this. Ready? Hacer, to do. Hacer, to make. Hice, hiciste. Hizo, hicimos, hicieron. Ir, to go. Fui, fuiste, fue, fuimos, fueron. Ser, to be. Fui, fuiste, fue, fuimos, fueron. Ver, to see. Vi, viste, vio, vimos, vieron. Dar, to give. Di, diste, dio, dimos, dieron. Once you've memorized them, I want you to record yourself, make a little video, put it in the gallery, and then I'll stamp you when I see you at, this, at the center tables. Okay? So thank you very much for listening to the little presentation about irregular preterites. And if you have any questions, please ask me. We'll practice writing and using and speaking with them um, once we're at the center tables together. Have a nice day. Adios.